Hey everyone, how's it going? So we're gonna go ahead and install Rasa NLU and Core, or Rasa X as they're starting to call it, uh, onto your system. But before that, you're gonna have to install Anaconda, which allows you to um, use Python on your Windows 10 computers and, and other environments. So it's ultimately creating a virtual environment for you. So standardize kind of all the different software packages. So we're gonna go ahead and install or we're gonna assume that you've already installed Anaconda. If you haven't, there's another video I've created where you can uh, catch how to do this stuff and install it on your Windows 10 computer. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that you've done this and then we're gonna create a Anaconda environment. So we have to give it a name. We'll give it Rasa as a name and then Python 3.7 and We'll go ahead and install that stuff. Sorry, not install, but we'll get that environment created. So once it's created, we will go ahead and watch it kind of install. I won't make you go through the drudgery of watching this all install, so I'll pause the video for right now and resume it as soon as it is all finished. All right, so this Anaconda environment installation is wrapping up. Um, just again, as a few notes, if you don't remember why we use Anaconda, it's ultimately a virtual environment. Uh, so that way it allows you to keep Python files, directories, and paths kind of in an isolated area so it doesn't affect other Python projects that you're working on. Because uh, you're going to have different packages, you're going to have different versions of packages, and they can all start causing a big headache uh, if you have, you know, if you're using Python, you know, 2.5 for one and 3.7 for another one. Uh, you'll go through all kinds of headaches. That's why you create different virtual environments. Um, we're installing all the latest stuff. Uh, luckily for us, Rasa does support many of the latest packages, so we did benefit from that. Um, as it keeps finishing up, I will wait and then I'll continue the video as soon as this is all complete so we can go into the RASA installation steps next. Alright, so there were two prompts that on my Windows 10 computer that uh, made me approve actions for Python, so you might encounter these as you're installing it. I just thought I'd give you a quick note. Um, so you don't panic or anything like that for you all that are new to using Anaconda and Python environments or virtual environments. All right, as you can set, tell, we've created the Anaconda environment um, on Windows 10 for Rasa. Um, well, actually for any Python project, this we installed the latest one. Um, so you'll be lucky enough to follow this process and, and set it all up.